Welcome to the docks of Norway. This is Salty Mechanics and now more specifically I'm on the docks of Oslo, the capital of Norway. I'm enjoying a nice cup of coffee. It's a quiet morning actually so I really like that and uh, working here in this department is really nice because I can get up a bit later. I got five minutes to drive instead of 40 to Drabak. So you know it's it's a nice change of pace really. We got a few things we need to get done today so I thought maybe we should just jump in the car and get on with it and after we've done a few things why don't we come back here and do a little tour in the trailer. All right. I'm finally on board out of the rain which is the most important thing <laughs> I do feel like a Muppet because don't you see my hair you know it looks like a mop at the end of a stick and you would just sort of mop the floor with it <laughs> yeah this is the kind of humor I have when I'm left alone working all by myself pretty much all the time so what are we doing here why am i here yes we are cleaning the inner circuit system for the fresh water on this engine so let's go so now i'm draining out all the water that is on the engine and i'm going to disconnect some hoses here in the front as well just to get rid of everything So now I'm gonna push the engine a little bit. I want the thermostat to open up and I really wanna clean the whole system good. So I only have fresh water on the engine right now, no coolant water at all. And uh, I'm gonna probably have to repeat this cycle a few times to clean the engine properly. And uh, the idea is that you don't want any air pockets in the system when you're done. That's very important, especially in that closed circuit that goes from the engine to the heat exchanger and back again. I know that a lot of people have gotten in trouble if they do it themselves. So if you're not really 100% sure, call you know your closest mechanic and have him do it because you can get into serious trouble <laughs> if you do this and you think everything is good and you go out at sea and then suddenly your engine isn't cooling at all. Now I'm gonna do this as good as I can and then at the end I'm gonna put on some good coolant water on this engine and then we're done. So now I'm all done here finally, I'm just gonna pack up and uh, I'm ready to go.
All right, it is good to be back. I am soaked and cold. Hold on, let me see here. Yeah, I don't know. It's not the most sturdy. Yeah, there we go. So, you know, I'm soaked to the bones actually, so I'm quite cold. And we are mid-May, so <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But while I'm drinking this cup of coffee, we can do a tour. Let's do it. So let's just start at the outside. This is what it looks like. We got some logos and stuff right here. And as you can see, we can move it if we have to. If you go back a few episodes, you can see that we had to move it actually. So it's quite handy to have those wheels and stuff. So it is permanent here, but if we have to move it, we can. So it's not big, but you know, it's everything we need. So why don't we just walk in to the kitchen area. Right here. I'll close the door. So we just put in a shelf here. But other than that, this all, chairs, table, fridge, it all came with the trailer when we bought it so this is a nice area for us to just sit talk something over have a coffee and the fridge we use it but as you can see not much going on there right now coffee maker that's good to have a cabinet right here and we have an oven down there all right let's go into the other part the trailer this is where we can actually do some work so it would be cool if we had like a bunch of shelves and stuff with awesome looking tools all over this wall right here but we don't <laughs> it's quite simple but you know it serves a purpose and it works for for us so we got some shelves here not very organized but you know we have some stuff here and there and we always seem to find whatever we need and if we don't find it here we just go to the um, workshop in Drabak which is really the main office just a closet here you can hang up your clothes and in here we got some tools and stuff a pillow <laughs> just in case so we can open these doors and if we need to we can open them both so we can actually get in an engine or something so that's it we're through <laughs> that's the tour <laughs> it's not really oh well I can I can show you this Cremo container we got some stuff in there all right let's do it so we can connect power to this one but we haven't done that yet we haven't had it for that long actually so here we can store bigger things right now we don't have so much here but we have some shelves with different stuff so you know it works I think that concludes the tour actually <laughs> so yeah that's it let's go and do something else I'm back in Drabak and the sun just managed to pop out through the clouds. Rain is no longer part of my life, 
beautiful. <laughs> so now I'm on board this 49 foot sailboat from Chanot. It's still on land and I've been tasked to do a service on the Onan generator. So let's do it. So this hatch won't stay up. So there's probably something wrong with this cylinder right here. I can notify the customer, but uh, I think I just need to do this a little bit differently. Let's see what we can find here to hang it up with. Here we are, a small Kubota engine, two cylinders, 0 0.4 liters, <laughs> not too big. If you ever need power though on board, you can just press the button right there and it's gonna do the job. It gives you about eight kilowatts. So my task now is to change oil filters and stuff like that and the impeller and uh, you know, can be quite tricky to get to the different areas that you wanna get to on this engine because of the cover and all of that, so yeah. Should be an easy task, but you know, we'll see. So I was supposed to change the thermostat on this engine and a few other things as well actually, but I can't really because I'm struggling with back-end orders, which basically means there's a bunch of stuff I can't get from the supplier, probably because of the way the world spins around these days. So I'm gonna keep it simple and do what I can. Hopefully I can get to the pump by removing the bracket right here. Looks like it, and this belt, and that will give me access to change the impeller. Well, that Chattanooga boy had a dollar and a dime. Get it out from Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learn to ride. All right, it's out. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. But coming around the river banker, the old train is so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. So as you can see the oil is quite black so it's going to be good to to get some new oil on this engine. So this is just a perfect place to end this episode. It is late evening now and the sun is just about to set and I'm done. And you know, it's all peace and quiet now. So I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the night and think about something else than work. But right now, this is pretty beautiful. So there's only one man still working <laughs> when I quit. No matter how late I quit, Powell. He's always here working. <laughs>